It's a long time since I made my last Kleinanzeigen, Trödel und mehr Video. This is my German format for everything about my retro computing hobby. And this time it's in English. Today was one of the days where I can go out and enjoy the fresh air was flea market time. The first thing I want to show you is not from today. It's this very nice record, Hoffman The Cave Sessions. It's uh, like Amiga retro music with electro influences and it's really nice music. It's the first edition with an autograph of Hoff, the Hoff. It's a really nice design and I got the number 222 of 250 and it's long gone. And this is an instant classic because you can see Retro Man Cave. This is before the renaming to RMC The Cave. Great. Oh, I love this music and I love this record. I just wanted to show it to you because I'm proud of it. And now let's go to the haul from today. Basically, I bought three things, not three things, but from th three sellers, different parts. I would call it the eight euro buy, then the 10 euro buy and the 20 euro buy, three things. First, let's start with the eight euro buy. The stand was basically only just boxes with stuff and old graphics cards and on top and but they were all broken and coolers and some laptops, but they don't were interesting. I go through the crates and I found this uh, nice pack of RAM. It seems to be 72 pin RAM. Here is one, one gigabyte DDR2, I think. Then I got this funky sound card. It's a Nightingale Pro 6. Nothing, nothing special, but I like those dark sound cards with the golden contacts. It's PCI and it's before they got the colored outputs. For the collection, I will stick it between the Sound Blaster Lives and nobody will notice it except of me. It looks like a copy of the Sound Blaster Live, even with the gold writing on top. Do I have a Sound Blaster Live? Yes, of course I have a Sound Blaster Live. You can see a Sound Blaster Live and this card. They look pretty similar with the golden writing on the Sound Blaster and the golden writing on the Nightingale Pro 6. You see those things? I print them on my 3D printer. They are very nice because you can put them on the cards down here. They are small stands. And then you can stand the cards upright in your collection. They are really fast to print. I will link them in the description. It's from Singiverse. It's really good. Then we come to the last part of the 8 euro haul. Here it is. It's a turbine cooler. I saw the cooler and then I saw this. There's still a CPU below there. I haven't even looked what it is because it's stuck to the cooler. Okay. It looks like, what is it? Pentium 4? Oh, wow. It's a Intel Celeron D, 2.8 gigahertz. Nice. Let's put it here. But I forget about it. At least a nice cooler. I've designed and 3D printed those nice holders for the 72 pin RAM. You can find it on my Thingiverse. I will link it in the description. Let's see if we can fit the new RAM into this pretty sweet holder. Yes, of course we can. You can see this holder, it's a very simple to print holder. You print it like, like this on the downside and it prints just this height and it's, it's really great. And you can see it fits. I have designed it uh, so you can, you can see there's a little bit space between those RAMs, but you can fit the thickest RAM modules directly next to each other. For those larger modules like DDR and so on, I have a separate holder. It's already RAM like this. I just can put it here and it's done. This is the original. You can find it on Thingiverse. I will link it in the description. And I made my own ones. I shrunk them down and made the space a little bit more fitting for the old RAM modules. I also made uh, the holders for 30 pin zips. The laptop RAM holder is not from me. This is from somebody else. I will link it in the description. But for this laptop RAM holder, I made little inserts. You can see them like here. They will adapt those 30 pin, uh, is it the 30, 30 pin? 
DDM modules, the smaller old RAM modules, they don't fit in this holder, but with my adapter you can fit them in the holder. It's really nice. I really like it. It's everything in the description, you will find it. I don't have a lot of this. This is like special RAM for AMIAs and AST computers and Apple eyes, I think. They are a little bit, you see, the 30 pin <coughs> doesn't fit in this. The 72 pin doesn't fit in this. They are in between. You also will find this in the description. And if you really like them, you can give them a thumbs up so, or a star or whatever it's called. I, 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 will, I will appreciate it. I like it when people like the stuff I make. Now we see everything that I got for 20 euros. It was a stand with boxes again and the pricing was you take something and it's one euro. Let's go from top to bottom. This is a, ten, a 20 pack of three and a half inch floppy disks. I haven't even looked in it. If there, yes, there are floppies inside. It's always nice to have new floppies. The case doesn't matter, but there are floppies inside. Fresh, new, formatted floppies. Here we have another pack of 20 fresh formatted floppies. This was interesting. This is a floppy case in blue transparent, but it's no floppies inside. It's an LCD cleaning kit is inside. What is the LCD cleaning kit, you ask? I don't know it either. Let's open the thing up. Let's have a look inside. What is it? Ah, wet wipes, dry wipes, some cleaning spray and like a paper towel. Oh, nice. The blue cleaning case. Then we have this silent LED fan in 80 by 80 by 25 millimeters. If I build a PC from the 2000s, it's always nice to have some new, basically sealed, I've opened it, but new parts you can put in the PC. I, uh, I like it. Then we have another box of 20 floppies. Oh, I like sealed and packaged things. This is a PS2 mouse and a keyboard converter to USB. It's always nice to have converters and things like that. I like those things. As I said, I like it when it looks like a computer store. Then we have this. This is just an extension cable for PS2. Ah, then uh, 100 CD and DVD paper sleeves. These are only those white paper things because I have a ton of loose CDs and I don't want to put them in cases. So it's nice to have those uh, DVD paper sleeves. Ah, here's another one of those PS2 extension cables. Ah, then we have another PS2 extension cable. USB printer adapter cable from the Centronix connector to USB. Nice for old printers when you don't have a parallel port. Here's another one of those USB to PS2. Another Centronix to USB adapter. Here we have a PS2 to USB in a different form factor. Another one of those. But it's already... No, I don't think somebody has opened it. It looks more like it's broken from the transport. It doesn't matter. So you can see it. It's simple USB to PS2. And the original price is 13 euros. Or well, was 13 euros, probably 15 years ago. A third one of those adapters. Then this new in-box uh, Molex to SATA adapter cable. Just a Molex splitter from Molex to double Molex. Here's another one of those PS2 to USB converters. Then I got this. This is a notebook PCMCIA USB 2.0 card. It's Windows Vista compatible. Wow. Then we have another extension cable, PS2. This is super yellow, a notebook USB spot. This is just a light on a USB plug. Then here's another box of floppies, 20. And here are two PS2 to 
DIN adapters. Ah, before I forget it, this thing was also in the box. This is an Ethernet card, 10, 100, it's a real tech also in this nice 20 euro pack. And now we come to the 10 euro hole. Every man bought two euros. So we have this nice Elite Group. It's a, a socket 370 for Pentium 3. Some of the caps are bulging. One cap is a little bit damaged, so it needs recapping. No problem. Has AGP, PCI, a strange CNR integrated sound. Which integrated sound do we have? This really small chip is the audio chip from the integrated audio. But nice to have another Pentium 3 board. Oh, there are a lot of bent pins. They were squished into a box. Then I got this main board, just because there's an AMD Duron uh, 1600 on the board. So it's nothing really special. There's some USBs, six USBs, network, audio. The caps look a little bit They are not bulging. Should work. Uh, looks okay. Looks really okay. No, no broken pins or something like this. It's an ASRock K7 VT4A Pro with AGP X8. 8X. You can see it here. It's a pretty compact but really short. Then I got this board for 2 euros. It's, I think it was a 286, the processor is sadly missing, but there are nice uh, UV erasable, erasable prompts here. Here's another one, here's Intel. The Intel one, here are a lot of nice chips. Here's even some uh, memory chips, I can recycle them. I think this is more like for recycling. Here crystals are always nice to have. This plug is really cool. Yeah. 5-pin DIN plug. Is this a battery? Ah, it has started leaking. I always have some white vinegar. There's some bubbling around the contacts, but not a lot. It's, it's nice. Some alcohol for the washing. Just a quick scrub with the old toothbrush. Okay, now I feel a little bit better. Even if it's just a parts board, I feel better that this mess is neutralized. Then I got this board. This is also, here's a 286 processor. I just got, here you see, the battery has leaked big time. Really ugly. Disgusting batteries. Put some towels here. Paper towels and the slide. It has leaked a little bit in this corner. Again, a little bit alcohol. For first aid, this is pretty nice, neutralized, I think. Another two euro board. And you have counted right. There was one missing, it was a 10 euro hole. Here's the last two euro board. Again, it's the same board like. It's the same board like this. And all the chips are missing. It's pretty sad. I just wanted the 286 for two euros and some parts. Let's detach the battery. Okay, this is a little bit worse. Again, some white vinegar for neutralization. Ah, you can really sh nice see the bubbling there. Okay, you see the bubbling here? This is where the vinegar is reacting with the acid of the leaked battery and you can really see it's bubbling everywhere. Let's take another small drip of our nice vinegar. Ah yeah you can really see the bubbling. I think the acid is gone under the, the mask, the silk screen. I will just scratch the surface, the surface a little bit. Oh, you can see the bubbles.
everywhere you see the bubbles like here and there and here this everywhere is this acid oh you can really nice see really nice where it's worked its way below the six green solar mask it has started to eat away the nice copper some alcohol this was everything for today i hope you enjoyed it a little bit Bye. See you later in another video.